Dear students, so uh, this lecture is related to the kinematics mapping and uh, this mapping is concerned with the uh, translation as well as the rotation both. So in certain cases, the in practically, so there may be the, uh, when you are assigning the frames in the manipulator, so there may be a translation as well as rotation also. So how we compute if both the cases are there. So in this example, uh, let's consider the two different frames are there. So uh, one of the frame is uh, denoted as a frame 1, another frame is uh, assumed to be the denoted as a frame 2. So uh, this one is supposed to be the the frame 2 and uh, it is a frame 1. The origin of frame 1 is denoted as O1, the origin of frame O2 is uh, the O2. So this frame 2 is uh, uh, showing the one is the translation, another is the rotation also with respect to frame 1. So in this case, the uh, assume that they, there is another frame uh, um, with the origin uh, coincident with uh, O2. So here the, the condition is that the axis of frame 1 are parallel with axis of frame I dash or a 1 dash. So here the frame 1 dash is having uh, the coordinate like uh, x dash, y dash and z dash and frame 2 is denoted as a u, v and w. So the distance with the this point P is the point of interest. So sometime you may be finding out the position of point P with respect to frame 1 if the position of point P with respect to frame 2 is supposed to be a known. So vice versa case may be there. So the position of point P with respect to frame 1 is denoted as uh, uh, P1. Similarly, the distance from origin uh, of frame 1 to O is denoted as a 2D1. And uh, here the this uh, uh, this equation can be written like uh, O1P. O1P is the vector which is re representing the distance from the origin O1 to P is equal to O2 O2P plus O1 O2. So here, so uh, this point can be expressed like uh, uh, the position of a point P with respect to frame 1 dash is equal to the rotation from uh, frame 2 to as seen from uh, 1 dash um, uh, times the position of point P with respect to frame 2. So since in this condition, so the frame 1 dash is in a line with frame this one. So this frame is in aligned with this frame. So uh, you can write the equation like the rotation from frame 2 as seen from 1 dash is equal to the rotation from 2 to 1 can be written. So by putting this equation here, so uh, you can write that the position of point P in frame uh, uh, 1 dash is equal to 2R1 into P2. So, uh, in this case, the uh, equation 1 is uh, uh, converting into the vector matrix notation. So, in this case, the, the equation can further be uh, split into this one. So, as we are considering the case of a translation, and initially, uh, this is representation, the pure rotation equation. So, finally, uh, if you are writing the, the transformation, uh, of frame uh, 2 as seen from frame 1 uh, by 4 by 4 matrix is known as a homogeneous transformation matrix. So in my previous lecture we have already considered the case of a homogeneous transformation matrix is representing the position and the orientation of the, the in this case. So uh, where the transformation is showing the 3 into 3 is a rotation matrix is uh, showing the orientation of frame 2 with respect to frame 1 or 1 with respect to another one. So 3 into 1 is a translation vector then the perspective transformation matrix is 1 by 3 and similarly the scale factor is uh, 1 here in the case of the manipulator kinematic. So uh, if the problem is supposed to be a reverse problem and you are uh, going to compute the position of point P with respect to frame 1 and if the position of point P with respect to 
uh, frame 1 is known and you are uh, supposed to find the position of point P with respect to frame 2. So in this way, the, the this equation can be computed and finally the result can be computed. So this term is known as a mapping between the rotated and translated uh, frames. So uh, sometimes the frames assigning to the manipulated point is showing the, the pure translation as well as the rotation also. So in this case, uh, uh, any of the conditions may be there and the point P is the point of interest whose uh, projection you want to compute either in frame 1 and other frame. So um, by showing the 4 by 4 matrix, you can find out the uh, orientation as well as how much is the, is the translation is there. So thank you very much for your kind attention.